<sighs> hey guys. Sorry this took so long to get up, but I didn't have a lot of free time. And two, for some reason, Windows Movie Maker keeps clipping off my videos. But anyway, old and new viewers, welcome to my very first movie review, Baron Amatsuri and the Secret Island. Now, there are a few things about this movie that are different from the anime and the manga we're used to. One, the animation's different, and two, the feeling of the movie is different. But you only feel that a little further in. Um, the thing is, people that, um, watch the movie, they're gonna tell you oh, the animation's bad, and da, 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 da. That's all they honestly have to say. That's what I went through anyway. All, the only thing people had to say about it is that the animation sucked. Like, that's the only thing that makes a good movie. Same way how some people seem to think graphics make a good video game. Which isn't true. I mean, does it have um, a really good plot? Does it have good sporting characters? If it's a part of a series or related to a t television show or cartoon, does it do that show or series justice? That's what you have to look for, in my opinion. I mean, a good, a good movie... A movie could have great animation, but sucky plot. Just the same way a video game could have great graphics, but a sucky plot. Without plot, you've got basically nothing, in my opinion. That and supporting characters. But, anyway, this movie has, in my opinion, a, a new animation style that, in my opinion, works great with the new feeling of the movie. Two, um, I guess you can say that um, One Piece's usual thing of theme of Nakama has changed a bit to me. Now it's changed to being alone. So anyway, let's get this started. Alright, first new characters we have Briefs, who is a captain whose crew was destroyed by Baron Omi Omimatsu. Oh, sorry, sorry. And, um, You've got this pirate father. He's called Papa. If he has another name, I couldn't find it. And his children, and I believe their names are Rick, Rosa, and Daisy. But Daisy gets the most screen time because of her special ability to be able to hear things. And that becomes very, very useful later on in the story. Woo! So yeah, good characters. Alright, so, the basic story starts out as the Straw Hats on their ship, and they get this little poster thing showing off a resort for pirates. If you are a pirate among pirates among pirates, gather your steadfast and not come up for our island. Um, they go there, and it's not all as it should be. Why? Because instead of a resort, or to get to the resort, they must go through the trials of hell. The others don't want to do it because, because they came here to relax, not, you know, run around and play games. But Luffy wants to try it. And, um, we get our first warm, happy Nakama moment when he says he trusts all of them. Oh, Luffy. <laughs> I love him. Really, I do. Um. So, anyway. <laughs> fangirl moment over. Um. They go through the trials of hell. The first one is goldfish catching. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh my god, look at the size of that goldfish. 
Now, do any of you know goldfish flipping or catching? That's a part of Japanese tradition where you uh, use paper nets. Yeah. Um, I assume that they give you a nice uh, that Baron would give you a nice big net to catch the to catch Rosetta, Rosio, Rosio. That, yeah, that's the name of the goldfish. What the hell? How the hell do you expect to catch that giant goldfish? With that tiny little paper net. <sighs> yeah. They throw in one piece humor here and there, which adds to the essence that is one piece. You know the parts where the crew um, sort of breaks the fourth wall every so often and talks to the viewers, like asking them a question related to the series, and then they go and humorously... Um, answer it themselves, like what Sanji did with Muchi Goro. Oh, did I show you Muchi Goro? There's Muchi Goro. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, the joke was that Sanji turned around and asked, is this guy an idiot? And then he turns around later and says, yep, this guy's an idiot. So, yeah. One Piece you were still in there. Um... Another thing is, the happy-go-lucky One Piece we're used to starts out at the beginning of the movie with the whole Trials of Hell thing, but we slowly start to see that disappear. We slowly, slowly see it disappear. Because the Straw Hats start fighting with each other. And that's what Baron wants. I don't want to spoil a lot. Um, people, I think I've left a thing in there. But anyway, um, what happened is Baron Omatsuri used to be a pirate captain. We learn this later. He used to be a pirate captain. And while they were passing the island, which is now Omatsuri Island, the sh their ship got caught in a storm and the entire crew, except for the captain, Baron Omima Om Omatsuri, is killed. Everyone on the crew except Captain Omatsuri is killed. And he becomes distraught, upset, and basically now what he wants to do is put Cruz through that same agonizing pain. Which is what he did with Briefs. He killed off Briefs' fa Brief's family with the help of Lily Incarnation and gave him a choice of whether to continue on living in the pain of losing his Nakama or to just to allow Baron to kill him himself. This is about, in this movie, this is about basically it puts the Straw Hat's loyalties to the tests as well. So even though sort of the theme was changed from Nakama to being alone, in a way it does stay in the Nakama theme. Because we see how much, well we already know how much Luffy cares for his crew. But we get to see this full blown as in what would happen if Luffy did, for a moment, lose his crew. And we see the effect that it has on him. And in that scene, most pe view people who have viewed the movie say that was the moment where they got the most depressed. Basically what Baron does is he keeps pinning Luffy to this rock with arrows. That's the name of his old crew, the Red Arrow Pirates. Um, he keeps pinning Luffy to the rock, stating that each arrow is the pain of each of the crew members he's losing. Personally, I think an arrow stuck into his hand doesn't even amount to the amount of pain that Luffy would go through if he lost a crew member, let alone all of them. Now, as Baron's doing this, Lily Incarnation slowly absorbs them into there. And to this point, we think they're dead. But, point is, are they really dead? Stay tuned for part number two.